little and often. Sometimes it can be hard to engage in an activity for a long time. It's easier to do part of an activity, have a break, and then return to it later. This is where the essential of little and often is important. It recognises that a person doesn't have to complete all of an activity in one attempt. It is possible to stop and return to it later. For example, collecting washing from a clothesline. A person may collect some of the washing, decide to do something else, then return to collect the rest of it. They may bring the washing inside, leave it sitting in the basket for a while, then later fold it and put it away. Similarly, a person may enjoy interacting with others, but find too much interaction overwhelming. They may interact, have a break, and then join in again later. To apply little and often, you must pay attention to the person you support. How much are they engaged in the activity? Do they want to continue or have a break? If they have a break, when are they ready to return? Little and often is useful when trying a new experience. It helps to see what it's like, how to do it and what's involved. Then later have another try for longer. This can help to build up experience and competence. Afterwards, they may increase how long they participate in the activity. Little and Often recognises that individuals participate in different ways. Some will participate in the whole activity or interaction, whereas others will dip in and out. You must be tuned in to what's happening for the person in the moment. Pay attention to how they are experiencing the activity or interaction and adjust your support accordingly.